Hey kids, do you like Spider-Man? Well, did you know that in 2011, there was a Spider-Man musical on Broadway, and it is considered to be one of the worst musicals of all time. It's really bad. I love it, though. I think it's great. Anyways, this is Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, and we're going to be talking about it today. So, Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark uh, was directed by Julie Taymor, uh, with a book by Julie Taymor and Glenn Berger, and the music was written by Bono. Yeah. Bono. You know, uh, U2, the band that, like, you, you know, when you would go to purchase an iPod, there would always be U2 music on the iPod, and you'd want to get rid of it, and you'd be like, why is this U2 album there? I don't, I don't want to listen to U2. U2 sucks. Tell you what, I'm going to give you about 48 hours to delete this. And Apple would be like, no, it's free music. It's U2. Enjoy the, it's, it's enjoy the U2. So I hear you ask, but Joel, why why did uh, why did Bono want to write music for a Spider-Man musical? Um, and he, he said in an interview that the reason he wanted to do it was to give Andrew Lloyd Webber a, a run for his money. Yeah, you know, Andrew Lloyd Webber, who's like basically the god of musicals. Yeah, he wanted to challenge Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark is a coming-of-age story about uh, Peter Parker. Um, it's got a very similar plot to the uh, Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire film, the first one. Uh, so let's let's just run through that real quick. So in the Tobey Maguire film, uh, and also the musical, uh, we meet Peter Parker. And Peter Parker is, uh, <clears throat> he's your average run-of-the-mill run high school kid gets picked on and bullied a lot. In fact, in the musical, there's this whole musical number where it's like the bullies and it, that's it. Like they just bully Peter while they sing. So yeah, there's that. Um, anyway, one day um, he, he is on a field trip to, um, to Oscorp where he meets Norman Osborn. Um, and so that's another thing in this movie, like Harry Osborn, Norman, he's not in this movie. He, he's not in Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. It, it's just Norman. And so uh, anyway, they're at Oscorp and suddenly, oh my gosh, Peter gets bitten by a spider. Look at that. And so um, he wakes up the next morning to find out that he's got like these really, really radical powers. Um, so like he can bounce on walls and, and, and do all sorts of stuff. It, it's really cool. Oh gosh. Oh, that was awful. Anyway, so uh, he's hanging out and then uh, one day he has to sit down with his uncle and his uncle's like, with great power comes great responsibility. And Peter's like, yeah, screw you, uncle. I'm gonna go and like use these new powers to make money. So he goes to a wrestling match. Um, and he beats up this guy and makes a ton of money and he's on his way home when suddenly uh, his his uncle is killed in a drive-by shooting and then we get this really really sad song where like Peter is upset because he let his powers uh, come before family and then uh, wait wait what what the heck is that what why is there a spider lady? What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arachne. Arachne is the only difference between the Spider-Man musical and the Spider-Man movie. Uh, Joel, I hear you ask, who is Arachne and, and why is she here? Very good question. This, uh, this blight on humanity is, uh, is based off of a Greek mythology story. So in Greek mythology, Arachne was a weaver, like she did a lot of weaving. And one day she wanted to challenge, I think, Athena to, to weave. And Athena won the competition. And then Arachne got big sad and tried to kill herself um, by, by hanging herself on her own weave. But uh, Athena was like, no, I'm not going to let you do that. And then turned her into a spider. And so now Arachne, for some reason in the musical, haunts Peter throughout the entire thing. Like, there's this scene, and then there's a scene later on where they have sex in the air um and that is that's weird anyway the rest of the musical kind of plays out the same as the movie 
So, you know, like, uh, Spider-Man is, is Peter Parker, and his suit isn't made by him anymore. It's made by Arachne now. Arachne gave him a suit because, of course, she did. You know, th this musical was responsible for, like, a ton of cast injuries. Like, the most, in the most infamous one was, like, back in, I think, what, what was it, 2011. This stunt double was playing uh, Spider-Man, and there's this scene in the show where normally what happens is they, they have to backstage hook up this stunt double to a safety harness, and then the safety harness uh, catches the dude when he, like, runs forward, and then, like, he leaps off of this cliff. And the rope catches him so that it looks like he's frozen in a comic book panel. Which, like, on paper, that sounds like a really cool effect. Um, unfortunately, some idiot did not fasten the harness correctly. And so the guy plummeted into a concrete orchestra pit. And then the show was cancelled and the actor was rushed to the hospital. Uh, thankfully, the guy was okay. He was an acrobat trainer, and he um, he knew how to properly fall without killing himself. Which, like that, that in and of itself is a miracle. Cause like this orchestra was like 20 feet under him, and he fell 20 feet into a hard concrete orchestra pit, which is like, wow. And then he didn't even quit the show either. He willingly wanted to return to the show, even though he didn't have to, which is crazy. This, this musical is so troubled, like it has such a cursed history that even, even Sesame Street made fun of this musical. Bono, we must close. No, 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 you can't close. Oh, but we close all the time, sir. I mean, I can understand South Park and, and, uh, and The Simpsons, you know, if they made fun of the musical, which The Simpsons did, you know, that would make perfect sense. But Sesame Street making fun of a musical? like that that's just really really funny to me anyway spider-man turn off the dark I, you know i i think it's okay i like the music um you know there's some really good songs in there like rise above that's a great song um boy falls from the sky that's a great song and those are the only two songs that i like um in the soundtrack the other ones are okay i guess but like eh? um and then the the guy who played Spider-Man was Reeve Carney, which uh, he right now is on Broadway playing Orpheus in the musical Hades Town, which ooh, we we need to talk about Hades Town uh, in the future because that is like my favorite musical ever. I love Hades Town. I could listen to it over and over again, and, and like never get sick and tired of it. But he's playing the main character um, right now on Hades Town, and the guy playing Hades is actually the guy who played the Green Goblin in Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. So I find it funny that these two are, are playing adversaries again years later. Um, but seriously, like, go listen to the Hades Town soundtrack if you haven't. I guess go listen to the Spider-Man soundtrack as well. It's, it's interesting. It's, um, yeah. Anyway, that, that's, um, that's really all I have for today. Uh, welcome to Movie Force. I know this isn't technically a movie, although, I mean, you know, we, we kind of discussed a movie. Um, so I think that we'll, we'll be okay in, the, in that department be because it, it's not like we did anything illegal. Um, oh, right, except we watched a musical bootleg. I forgot the, the musical closed down permanently in, in uh, 2015. Um, so there's really no other way to watch the musical unless it's through a bootleg. Um, so of course the link to that will be in the description. And, uh, anyway, that's, that's it for today's video. Uh, here, here's some happy music. Mm -hmm.